Hello and welcome to Fortune Forecast. Whether you are here visiting for the first time or a Fortune Forecast subscriber, welcome and welcome back for your daily tarot reading and more. So make yourself comfortable and thank you so much for hanging out with me. Take a few minutes to relax as I interpret today's message. And while I shuffle the cards, please like, Comment, let me know you are here, and subscribe. Today is Sunday, February 27th. Let's get started. Do you feel that this weekend was too short? Mmm, didn't you? But we've got to set up, we got to set up for the week while still living in the present. So let's take a look at the area of money. Okay, so <laughs> you wanna go somewhere and uh, looks like um, there's gonna be some issues. You're not gonna be able to um, get everyone on the same page or if it's about um, your you're set up for your trade deals tomorrow. There's a little bit of confusion um, in the different sectors. So definitely do a, your homework tonight. Uh, talk to your investor. Do whatever you need to do before you move, move uh, make those big moves. Um, really important about that. So in general, um, don't don't let don't don't sweat the small stuff, okay? And there might be some issues or some things that you want that money to spread itself with and. Um, maybe the people around you are not agreeing with what you want to do, what you think is the best intention, but then that's just a sign that it needs more work, you know? And um, I would not advise, according to this message, um, to take any action yet because it's just going to lead to turmoil. So hold on to your money. It's safe where it's at, right? And uh, have a little bit more um, research because that's kind of what this is. We need... We need more information. We need a lot of more information. Come back and reconvene again and uh, and then uh, assess what you want to do with that money, okay? Okay. Let's look at the next area. Relationship. Relationship. Okay, so there are some things that are not standing firm here. Um, what I'm seeing here is there's a sense that today, and it's funny because life is like ups and downs and ups and downs. And one day, you know, this, and it's like, so the question is, are you reacting to the situation or are you acting? And sometimes we, we an incident happens in our in our relationship within couples or within teams, you know, whether it's at, at work and organizations, charitable groups, whatever group setting you're in that's resonating more for you as far as the relationship. It may not this message may not be about your intimate relationship. It may be about something else somewhere else. So please kind of um, take that into consideration as the message is coming through and find in your in your vibration, in your vibe, in your body where where is it's going to resonate the most so that you can harness this information and put it to the best, highest practice for yourself, okay? So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, something in the relationship, in the partnership, doesn't feel fulfilled. So, what is that? What is that? And why does it feel incomplete? What What is it that doesn't feel that it's realized itself as where you wanted it to be? So, as you ask those questions, you will get some answers. You will get signs. You will kind of have something more to say, okay, um, this this is where I feel that we're lacking foundation in, and uh, this is where these areas are. Um, you know, maybe you find that the intentions of that partner, um, it, it was more about, you know, possessions and about what you had to offer versus the whole group. Or maybe you find out that this person is too possessive and uh, you know, you're know you ready to let go of this. 
So, um, or maybe you're not feeling secure emotionally, mentally, physically, and you don't feel like investing any more time in this relationship. So um, a lot of things to contemplate here. So that's very interesting where that's going, right? I wasn't expecting that, were you? Okay, let's take a look at the next area, which is career. Let's look at the next area, which is career. Career. Okay, there's some things I could already feel. There's something about career I feel a little weighing down even before I draw the card. So I wonder what this is. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. No wonder. Okay, uh, money. The money issues. Now I can see how the theme is coming through the whole. The earlier messages about money, you know, the arguments here, a little situation about no confidence and security here. So now um, either you're getting hammered at that what you're doing is not enough or you feel that um, the people that you're investing time with or the organization or your academic, you know, might, might want to shift uh, electives or something, but you feel that it's not going to give you the yields that you want. So don't beat yourself up. I really tell you, don't beat yourself up. Just reassess what the situation is and and move on move on don't 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 dwell on it too much it will affect you next one is going to be well-being mind body and soul where is that going to fall now and in relationship to the other um, messages that have been revealed to us today Oops. Okay. Um, it's funny uh, when it comes to your well-being. Um, it looks like you have been listening um, and you have been fighting with some ideas and some thoughts and your mindsets. Uh, sometimes you learn new information that helps you make adjustments, you know, about how you take care of yourself. So this new information is really good. It could be as far as uh, uh, new prescriptions, new medical care, new new something. new. There's a new information that you've learned um, that it's going to help you uh, feel good about yourself. But it's also most about mentally. So this is uh, something with your head or, or something with your mind. But then we know that the mind, body, and soul, and the emotional body are all connected. So it's good that... Um, you're getting you're having a breakthrough with that love that at least there's something good coming out of this message somewhere right okay so let's look at the collective vibe and see what the collective vibe is yielding for us Angel Michael and uh, you know if this is not for you and you do not believe in angels you do not believe and maybe you're an atheist um, or you're of another religion that does not believe in angels that's okay you can move on but I want you to know this is like the molecules of oxygen I can't grab them but they're there you know and these beautiful beings are there waiting to help us and Archangel Michael call upon him uh, to help you use his sword to cut away ancestral karma to cut away the pain to help you and connect with God and he is that powerful angel ready to take on the battle and um, for you but he won't do it if you don't ask so wow this is just such a beautiful um, message for today on this beautiful day um, some of you uh, might be going to church serve to church to services to synagogue wherever that may be wherever you go to connect maybe you're just connecting with nature but just know that you're not alone you are not alone that is beautiful I just feel like I need to ring the bell for all of us so I will may you find a moment in your breath 
to call on all angels and our Heavenly Father. And with that, I will close out our session. Be blessed. Come back tomorrow for our time together. Thank you so much.